When it comes to the algorithm, the key thing is to create content that elicits engagement. Creating content that elicits engagement, meaning that you want someone to comment, you want someone to like, you want someone to share. So in other words, you have to make content that's actually of value to the client or the person that's consuming it. Do not think that, um, because the first thing even what you have to always take note is that whenever you are making content on social media, it's not for you to consume, it's for others to consume. So a lot of the times what you guys do, if you're actually out here just basically constantly just dishing out posters left, right and center, and you're not necessarily um, providing uh, time or even, um, or even leeway for listening out to what your clients actually want to consume on social, then you are actually missing out because a lot of you guys are posting and you're getting a lot of likes, but you're not getting the right engagement, the comments, because you're not in, in creating, a, even your write-ups could be an issue where you're not even encouraging people to even comment. A good um, thing that even you can use, here's a little tip you can use even for your Instagram stories, for example, because I know a lot of you guys are on Instagram. When you go on your Instagram stories and you post anything on your Instagram stories, that poll section where you can actually add a poll, add a poll, okay? Add a poll or a way for people to actually engage with your particular piece of content, okay? Now, when you add a poll, whenever, whatever option people pick, whether the yes or the no option, that's a segue. You're able to see who chose yes or no. So based on what you asked, yes or no, like for example, I usually ask, would you watch this um, podcast on YouTube? Something like that. And people pick yes or no. Everybody who has picked yes, I usually ask them, go to their DMs, they ask them, oh, hi, have you actually watched a podcast? And then they'll go even further and say, ask for the link. That's execution. Now, for example, for you, it can be, oh, do you like this particular drawing? Would you like a drawing of this? Yes or no? And then anybody that says yes, that's a prospective client. You go in their DM and have a conversation with them. That's how you get engaging content. That's how you turn your Instagram stories and use the various interactive things um, on your Instagram stories for you to get real clients on social media. So I hope that's a real, that's a way to go around the algorithm. Now, one thing I would want to tell you, this is a punchline I have learned. No matter the algorithm, no matter the algorithm that you have on social media, there is one thing that always beats it. It's called consistency. If there's one thing that social media platforms love, is are you as uh, Ungari, as you as Lorna, you as MA, you as uh, Caroline, you as Collins, are you able to keep people on our social media platform longer by because they're consuming your content? That is the number one thing. So consistency in the sense that, oh yeah, today Felicity consumed my content, tomorrow, and then, and then Christina also consumed my content. So that means tomorrow when I post something else, they'll always be there. And you have to always know that right now because of social media, the way the timeline runs, people forget you. People will forget you. They will forget you. Yes, they will. But what happens is you need to make sure that you are on their face in various dynamic ways. Like for example, I kind of even held back myself on like stop making these short videos that I used to make of myself, constantly like giving now little sporadic things that I wanted to do doing a little podcast because you see me in a different dynamic. Then I'll go to a TV interview and I'll chop up that TV interview. You see me in a different dynamic so you don't get bored of me or whatever. So that's me interpreting and using various different, it's still video, but you're seeing me in a different way so that I'm still edible. You will never even get comfortable eating the same food over and over again. That's gonna get boring. In the same way you have to think of it like that, like Shiko, you're there and you're selling a particular product, you will always want to make sure that you are can maintain edibility for your prospective clients. All right, those are, that's how you want to navigate around now the algorithm. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip from my webinar, you can invite me to yours. Just send me a message and let's get it started.